English translation, 43rd contact, Tuesday, 27th of January, 1976, 0203HRs. It took a long time to make this contact. I was beginning to think that you had vanished. You know I am very busy. Of course, which is why I have my questions in writing again. I also made the list, I mean the list of names with the contact persons. Here. Simyase occupies herself for some time with the two typewritten pages. These lists are not quite correct, and besides, one of them is not yours. That is right, one is from someone else. But why should they not be correct? On this sheet here are names and titles of books mentioned. Many names only correspond to those of book authors who have never been contact persons themselves. That may be, but can you tell me which ones we can trust? Sure, but after that it should be enough with this matter, because we have been dealing with these issues for months now. On your lists I also find names that are unknown to me, but on the other hand I miss a few names. We could not find the names of all the contacts or alleged contacts. Sure, that would not be possible for you either. But that is not what I had in mind when I made my statement, but rather names whose bearers are not very well known to the public, but who fall within the scope of the fraudsters and whose names are identical to very well-known contact persons. Then my lists are useless. Not quite. You have already received a list of important contacts, except for three names which I must continue to keep secret from the public. You can now use your lists to mark all those who are of less importance, although I must explain that there are hundreds more of them than your records contain. Why do we not just do it so that I give you the names here, or you read them and tell me, plus or minus or unknown minus sign, must no contacts? This is a very good idea, but please do not interrupt me in my presentation. So I will begin then, leaving out all those who are only known as authors of books or writings. With that, I mentioned all the names listed and did not mention pure book authors. We should leave it at that, because these things are not very important. You say that because people want to know where they stand with us. But how is it that you have so many names that you call unknown to you? Your question is probably justified. It is based on the fact that these persons either have no contact with extraterrestrial intelligence or that they are not the real names. On the other hand, it is also possible that they have had visual contact only recently, but we do not know anything about that yet. But these contacts might not be of great importance, because we would be informed about them very quickly. Another possibility, however, is that their visual contacts took place with intelligences unknown to us, which somehow managed to penetrate unnoticed through our monitoring which is very unlikely, or they had contact with the Giza intelligences, which unfortunately we are not always able to monitor very precisely with their dark machinations. Well, that's cheery. You might miss a lot on that side. Sure, in certain respects, yes. But how did things work out for you? We could not locate any more danger. You mean? Certainly. Nothing has changed, as you might have expected. But let's not talk about it anymore, because as far as I am concerned, the case is closed. Suit yourself. But now I have an important announcement to make. In two or three weeks, you shall endeavor to divide your time very carefully so that you can do all the work. You will be given a new task of great importance which you will have to get used to because you will have to tell the Earth humans certain things that will be important to them. You make me laugh. I wanted to bury myself in two or three books in the near future because they interest me very much. I also have a big work with Patali because I have to lay out everything myself. On the other hand, you also want to be concerned that I still receive the last reports from Asket. 
And also Arhat Athersada has already contacted me again, and so I can also write there again. We will not overburden you, only you have to put your personal interests on hold. Is it so important what you want to give me? You should learn something and then make these things known. Aha, uh -huh, so more cramming. Sure, that's why you already came across it yourself. I really would not know what for. You have been doing a lot of prophetic stuff lately. Oh, you have also noticed that. Sure, because it was meant to be. I see, then I can write the reading from the sky for the time being. So a little loafing around will not do. You know that is not possible, because time is rushing by and you still have a lot to do before time ends. You can talk. I feel like shit a lot of the time already. But what must be, must be. I will see that I can do everything. Maybe I can cheat time a little if necessary. That would be against the law, you know that. It is all right. It was only a joke. Do not always take everything so damn seriously. After all, I'm also laughing at the time. That is good, but it is a good time to think about it, because if you are not able to do your job, then we would be... I know, I know, I will be fine. At least I hope so. There really is a lot of work to be done, and I am being thrown a lot of ropes between my legs. Again, I have to do everything myself. Only Mr. Schutzbach, Mrs. Walder, and Miss Flammer come to help me. All the others live too far away, unfortunately. But I must not forget Miss Roofer, because she too is very kind and helpful. But you know, those who live closest and would have the most strength, they do not come to help at all, or you have to keep cheering them on. That is a great pity, and also very stupid of them, and I also know of them that lately they do not pay much attention to their consciousness-based and spiritual needs, and they close themselves off from the truth. That is a great pity. Tell me about it. I know it well enough myself. Still, you will do your job. And what else I am to report to you, as I was told, the reports of Asket are not to be transmitted to you. This is because they will become obsolete with the spiritual teaching transmitted to you from the Pataha Ali level. As I know from Asket, the reports which have been lost to you contain in great measure the teaching of Emmanuel which has been given to you, which is now to be given to you elsewhere, and which you are to interpret in a self-explanatory way, with which you have already begun in Genesis. So you will have one less work, which will relieve you of some of the burden in this part, but which will also give you the new task. I am glad, even if it will be disappointing for the others. At least the experiences could have been passed on after all. They are not of importance, but only the teaching, which is given by Patahli and you now again in all its values. In the Asket reports, she would have been mentioned only partially. I realize that. But tell me this. Can you give me details about the Thule Society? I mean about its purpose, existence, and origin? I have only the necessary facts, nothing more. But these I only know from earthly books. Only a few things of knowledge about them originate from the context and the direct need to know about our work. You should therefore use appropriate books and tell this to those who have put this question to you. You mean this question is not mine? Certainly. Then you hit the nail on the head. I knew that. But now I think you should go home and get some sleep. Why? You can control your weakness and your discomfort very well, but you still cannot hide it from me. I receive your vibrations and they show me that you are very miserable, even if you do not want to let me see it. Come on, I just caught a little cold. You know it is a lot more than that. You know it very well. You have a fine spiritual perception, of which I could envy. You always stray off topic when it comes to your person. But now I want to suggest something else. Make an effort to ensure that the heritage of your work is safeguarded because the values of the teaching transmitted should not fall into oblivion, 
but should follow the path of the venerable and lead to the fulfillment. Therefore, make an effort to find the appropriate knowing ones to whom you can entrust the spreading and preservation of the teaching and other values, so that they will continue them when you have completed your life on the earth in your time. It shall be so, because after your passing away, we have fulfilled our task here and will return to our dimension. Also, Arahat Athersada and the Patah Li level will stop their messages from that time on and will not maintain any further contacts. You are having wishes again, but they make sense to me. I will look around to find the right persons. Only it is not going to be easy. Sure it is like you say. A similar problem seems to be weighing on you with your writing, which you do every month and which we judge to be very good. How are you going to do it if you are not able to do the writing for once? Obviously, no one will give you a hand to do it. It should be that someone is trying to make the writing without your help, if necessary. I often have the impression that people take your work for granted and do not want to contribute anything themselves. I guess you are right, because just last week I was being avoided all the time. So I wanted to give what I had written for the booklet for correction, but the person who had made the corrections for me so far obviously did not have time for that, so I just let it go. Unfortunately, he's been very busy with his work lately, so it was not possible for him to do this work as well. And I also think it is good that he has work, because the current crisis leaves a lot to be desired and everyone must be happy if they still have something to do. On the other hand, I was also told by another side that I should do the booklet myself, because I actually have had the idea for it. That is not very wise concerning the last statement. But it does not show much interest or a decisive evolutionary attitude either. That statement is really very stupid. What is more understandable, though, is the matter of work. I understand Mr. Jacob did the proofreading for you in Wetsicon? Yes. It is understandable that he needs his work, but it would be possible to spare some time. Maybe so, but I do not want to push, so I prefer to do the work myself. Your attitude honors you, but you should not work all alone. It must be understood that this work is of utmost importance and that everyone should do their utmost not to neglect any values. It is no longer as it was in former times, when the proclaimers and heralds transmitted the teaching from place to place and orally in prophetic form, because the earth humans could only be addressed in this form, since they were not yet literate. Today, however, when writing and literacy are very widespread on the earth, everything should be put down in writing in order to be preserved and not to fall victim to any falsifications. As a transmitter, you have the task of recording everything that happens in a good writing for all the time to come, while others take on the task of spreading it and strive for this task in every form. It is not enough to simply read the values you have been given and written down by you and to evaluate them only for your own benefit. All values must be disseminated and made known, which is what each individual group member must strive for in the future. The phrase, I do not know anybody I could interest in the matter, etc. cannot find any recognition in this. With a little interest, each individual can make an effort to gather like-minded people around him or herself and form small groups, which truly does not require any organizational talent, as you yourself have shown. The admirable Fräulein Rufer in Zurich, as well as the ladies' misses, Walder and Mrs. Flammer, who are working very intensively on new group members and the spreading of knowledge, serve as an example for all of them. Their efforts are really very praiseworthy, which they take on in addition to their daily work. Admirable, however, are also their efforts to educate themselves further and to fathom all the facts in depth. My special thanks go to them, which I am addressing to them through you. Your speech is long and true. But how to change the disinterest of those who only want to take and do not want to give? I always have to listen.
if it were not for me, we would have never come this far. Or, if I were truly a materialist, then and then and then, etc. You are referring these words to your friend Jacobus? Who else? He still lives in certain things in great fantasies, which you call Wild West style, if I can remember correctly. It would probably be possible for him to free himself from these things if he would deal very intensively with all values. But this is contrary to him in certain forms, so he always gets caught up in quite low-seated forms. His thinking often takes place in frighteningly low forms. He should really make a great effort to conform to the values of the teachings he has been given, which will also rid him of the false belief that only through him everything has been made possible. He too is only a very small cog in the wheel of the whole and is destined for certain things, which you yourself have probably known very well since 1956. It is for him to boast if he wants that he has so far fulfilled his duty and also offered the possibility of making reproductions of the transmissions. But let him consider that in doing so, he was truly only subject to his duty and his destiny, which, however, should not entitle him to make himself known in such statements. Every form of life is assigned its place and its destiny in its life, so that its existence for everything and with everything is evolutionary, without it appearing to be more valuable for that reason. Your words will make him very happy, but only from behind but it should be known to him anyway. But now I want to do something for you. I cannot watch you struggling anymore. You talk in riddles. Your looks are getting more and more worrisome. We cannot have this going on. Sit down here. Do not make a fuss about it. It will pass. Sit down here now. I want you to. If you say so. So now hold your head against this. Yes, that is right. Now close your eyes for a moment. That's it. That was good. How do you feel? You're driving me crazy. What are you doing? This weird swarm of mayflies has disappeared from my skull, as well as the stupid poking and hammering. I feel much better. That is fine. You can do the rest on your own. By noon, you will be much better. Thank you, Simyase. I am really much more comfortable. What have you conjured up? Not only have you caught a bad cold, but you are also extremely tired. You should really try to get much more sleep in the next few days. It is very important for you. You're avoiding my question again. What did you do? The explanations would go too far. In short, I just improved your strength a little. Aha, uh -huh, some kind of power boost. Sure, I have infused you with a very tiny unit of primal cosmic energy. Aha, uh -huh. I understand that, although this process is a mystery to me. You should not bother about that, because the process is purely technical, combined with biophysical forms. You are speaking Spanish to me again. Your values are also in areas other than precisely in these sciences. But now I think it is time for you to go home. You really must sleep. Whatever you say, I guess you're right. It is just nicer in here. It is pretty cold outside. That is so... If only I were home already. It is quite cold to ride a moped. I want to take you in front of your house. Fine, but the moped? You know that's not a problem. I keep it under my ship. All right. You want me to go get it? That is not necessary. I can just pull it up. Something new again? Let us go. Aha. We are floating. I already have your vehicle. Just look at this screen. Fantastic. Man, girl, there's the house already. Drop me off on the street. In the snow, you'd see the tracks, and then in the morning, you would probably be cuckoo. Whatever you want, you're probably right. Well, goodbye and get a good night's sleep. Thank you, Simya Say. You're right again. Kind words. Goodbye. Hurry up. Goodbye, dear friend. I will contact you myself in a short time.